Hey everyone, so um, I want to say first of all thank you first and foremost to everybody that sent your condolences for my dad passing away. Um, I read a lot of your emails and your messages. I didn't respond to every single one of them, but I read a lot of them and I just want to say thank you and especially to Selena from Vancouver uh, who actually dealt with the exact same thing my dad had with her mom and uh, when she was 12 years old. So. Uh, and also David Kay, whose mother actually just passed away two days before my dad did. So, you know, ultimately it doesn't fix anything, but it really does help uh, to hear your stories about how you lost people in your lives. So, um, I really appreciate that, guys. I really appreciate how uh, the Geography community um, not only comes together for uh, empathy, but also can share in the sorrow of their own loss as well. So just a little backstory behind my parents. Both my parents were born into a somewhat disenfranchised group generation of kids known as the Amerasians, children that were born between American soldiers and Korean women back in the Korean War. Long story short, they were both born and raised in Korea, they both, you know, speak Korean, they were raised with Korean culture, and eventually my dad reunited with his biological father after over 30 years of not even seeing him for his entire life. You know, I really looked up to my dad. He was always the risk taker of the family. He was always the one who pushed and decided to go for stuff even when it was crazy and impossible. So I'm just going to jump into it. I'm going to start fundraising to pay for his funeral costs and his cremation and uh, me and my mom are also planning on taking some of his ashes to a small town in Italy. I already mentioned this in a previous video. Uh, it's called San Paolo Matez. It's where all of the people from my dad's side of the family, the Italians, come from. And after that, I'm also planning to take my mom to the other two countries of her heritage that she's never seen, France and Ireland. So essentially, this whole thing is gonna be like a big heritage trip. So the first way I'm gonna raise money to fund all of this is to do more sponsored videos. I already have two lined up for the month of May, so if you see me doing more sponsored videos, you probably know where the money is gonna go towards a lot of it towards. The second way is if you guys, the viewers, would like to expedite the funding process of this whole deal, uh, you can make a donation on Patreon. It can be like a one-time donation of any amount, I don't care, one dollar, it's that would be great. Many of you Geography Peeps are actually already Patreon patrons and I really appreciate that and I noticed a few of you actually have increased your Patreon donation amount so thank you guys so much to those of you who have done that. So in addition to paying Brandon for being my cameraman and uh, Ken and Allie for doing the graphics on each of the videos, I'm going to take the leftover money from Patreon and use that uh, into the, the Dad's Memorial and Heritage Trip Fund. And lastly, if you cannot donate, that's totally cool. There's still a way you can help out. If you or anybody you know lives in Italy, France, or Ireland, and specifically in Italy, in the Naples, uh, the Campobasso region, uh, possibly Rome or, or Milan, uh, let me know um, if you would like to meet up with us or help us out or even host us, me and my mom, when we go. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated. You know, if you would like to host us, just make sure that my mom gets the better room and the bed. I'm like, I'll, I can sleep in a broom closet if I have to. I don't care but my mom gets the luxury. And also, there's a lot of planning involved. We're not sure if we should fly from Italy to France or if we should take a train. And if we take a train, we might pass through Switzerland. So if any of you live in Switzerland, uh, let me know. I'm not really good with trains. So uh, if you, any of you guys have good advice for trains in Europe, you know, Italy to take a train from Switzerland and fly to France, I don't know. It's We're trying to figure it all out. But yeah, if any of you guys live in these areas, uh, please let me know. We would love to possibly get some feedback and advice from you guys and possibly meet you guys out there if you live in these countries. Uh, but yeah, but we would really appreciate to just have anything from you European, Italian, French, and Irish geography peeps, and possibly Swiss. So I just want to say thank you to everybody uh, for all your continual support here on Geography Now. Um, I will get back to making the country episodes. You know, it's going to be a little weird because I have to be a little humorous in the episodes and, you know, I think I can pull it off, though I think I can do it. So you know, it's going to be a little interesting, but yeah, um, I, I want to keep continuing making this channel and making the country episodes. Um, so with all that said, uh, I just kind of want to finish off this video by sharing you, with you guys uh, um, one of my favorite memories of my dad. It's the time that we just sang this Korean song that he taught me. It's called Jindo Arirang, and uh, we just played the traditional Korean drums. So yeah, enjoy. Jindo Arirang, Jindo Arirang. Yeah. 
Dank.